in the stretch run here. What are you looking forward to from your team? Well, just being competitive, you know, and making sure that our, our details, our fundamentals, um, you know, they're on point and we're, we're still trending and working on getting better. As crazy as it sounds, you know, this many games into the season with only six left, you know, a lot of coaches, they still want their teams to get better. And, it, and it's little areas, it's little details. And that's the video sessions right now, too, we're showing are the simple details within our structure that will help them uh, defend better, produce more offense, and, and challenge the other team. When you took over this team, you said you wanted to bring your style of play to Grand Rapids. It maybe took a little bit longer, but since the new year, you guys have been rolling. Did you, when did you know this was going to click? Well, I think it, it, a lot of stuff happens inside the locker room. Um, you know, how, how guys come to the rink feeling every day, their attitudes, uh, their willingness to work together. And we could see it happening before Christmas. Uh, we had a, a stretch against Texas. We weren't successful, but we were playing high-quality hockey, making it hard for them. We just weren't scoring the goals, and they were scoring the goals. So uh, we knew there was something there. Uh, did we think right after Christmas break, oh, we're going to go on a run? No, we didn't. But with that said, you, you can really generate a lot of uh, positivity when you do go on those those runs. And we won five straight right after Christmas. Started feeling really good about ourselves, and you just see that team, our team, become tighter and tighter. I know there's a lot more out there with six games left to go, but do you get a chance to reflect of, after missing the playoffs for two years and all the fan support you get from this community to, to be back in there and, and kind of relish that opportunity? Yeah, I mean, you just you, you look at the excitement uh, that playoffs can, can generate in for a city, uh, for the fan base, for an organization, and I think that's the biggest thing is you, know, you look at the last winning Wednesday we had, there was over 9,000 people. Last Friday, same thing, almost a sellout. So I think just it, it can bring a city together, it can bring fans together, and just that overall excitement. Uh, you know, playoffs, it's a fun time of the year. You know, it's, the weather's starting to turn nice, and people want to still try and find things to do, and, and we're going to be another option for them. The balancing act of having guys bouncing back between Grand Rapids and Detroit, Zach getting called up today, Jonathan's been back and forth. How do you balance that with guys playing in Detroit and then also obviously putting the best product out here in Grand Rapids as well? Well, I think, you know, it starts with, with having a deep team. You know, Sean Horkoff's our general manager, built the team, got the pieces in place. And so when you miss a, a Berger and you miss an, an Aston Reese, uh, Simon Evanson, Zarnick, you know, you need guys to step up and fill those roles. And we have those pieces. And we've been able to sustain a, a really high-end product even when missing those types of pieces. So uh, credit goes to, to him for building and, and supplying us with those types of players. And then the credit goes to the players themselves. Uh, it's next man up mentality. Guys know when, when we're missing a high end piece and making sure that they're able to fill those shoes as best they can. They don't have to become those types of players, but everyone needs to elevate their game a little bit more. Awesome. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate the time. Thank you.